was 36, I experienced something strange. Both of my little fingers and big toes tingled nonstop for three full days. It was like that sensation when you had Novocaine at the dentist's office and you're coming out of it. You know your lip is there, but you can't really feel it, and it feels huge. My doctor ran some tests and sent me to a neurologist. Experienced a single sclerosis. A sclerosis is the hardening of the tissue. We'll need to run a spinal tap and some nerve tests to determine the extent of the hardening. The tingling in my toes went away after three days, but the tingling in my fingers persists to this day. Three years after the first sclerosis affected me, another disturbing thing happened. The right side of the back of my head completely numb entire day, I returned to the neurologist. Marion, let's say that this electrical wire is one of your nerves. It has a coating like this plastic. This coating is a protein called myelin. Your test results show that you are greatly <coughs> losing myelin. Myelin is what helps your nerves send messages through parts of your body. The reason why it's taking you longer to open your right hand or to move your right foot is because your nerves are now taking a circuitous route throughout your body. Marion, I'm afraid you have multiple sclerosis. Most of my sclerosis manifested itself on the right side of my body. I was soon described an orthotic to help me walk, but there was nothing they could do about my hand. At first, just my pinky and ring finger tingled, but soon my middle finger, index finger, and finally my thumb became numb and tingly as well. In the beginning, it was just a nuisance and I could still play normally. My right hand just wouldn't move quickly enough anymore, so I started to learn how to bake it on the piano. <coughs> Real and the changes I 
have to make. 